as displacement is distance with a direction, then velocity is speed with a direction. Also, speed is distance divided by time. Velocity is displacement divided by time. We have introduced a new dimension to our discussion, namely time. Previously, we discussed the distance away two objects are. Now, we are going to discuss how long it takes to travel between these two objects. Time is simply another dimension to our discussion. We are familiar with the idea of moving within dimensions. We move from one point to point two, but we never consider what we are moving through. Do we move from one point to another instantaneously, or do we flow through points in space? Time allows us to reconcile these thoughts. For every motion through distance, we use up some time. This is a thought well beyond the level you need to be thinking at A-level, but it helps to establish the fundamentals now, so you are less confused later. We need only concern ourselves with the idea that time and distance are linked together through speed. If we move from a point A to B and are not concerned about which path we take, then we can describe how long it took by using a quantity called speed. Speed is a combination of the distance between the objects we travel to and from and the time it takes us to do this. Distance is measured in metres and time is measured in seconds. For every metre we travel we are using an associated amount of time. As the distance decreased then the time increased and so they are inversely proportional to each other. We show inverse proportion as unity divided by the subject, so speed is distance inversely proportional to time. In much simpler language that you are used to from an earlier learning, speed is distance divided by time. This isn't the end of the story though. We need to introduce direction to the equation. Speed is a brute measure. It tells us how quickly distance is used up with time, but it doesn't tell us where the object is going. For this we need a direction. We can get this in two ways. We can take the distance in our equation above and add a direction to it, or we can take the displacement value, which already has displacement uh, direction incorporated into it. Both ways are in effect the same thing, but I wanted to highlight that velocity has three parts to it. Distance, direction and time. As it is a vector, vector mathematics, as discussed previously, can be applied to this property.